Hello everyone, I'm Rashadi Shah. I'm currently working as a data science and business analytics intern at the Sparks Foundation. My task is prediction using decision trees algorithm. This is the task number six. Today, I'll be presenting to you my code for the same. So what are decision trees? Decision tree is a supervised machine learning algorithm which can be used for both classification as well as regression. It uses the tree representation to solve the problem. In this project, we will be using decision trees as a classifier. The goal of this algorithm will be to create a model that predicts the value of our target variable based on its learning from the training data set, which will have the features as well as the associated target variable. Let's move to the code. So beginning with the code, based on its learning from the training data set, which will have the features as well as the associated target variable. Let's move to the code. So beginning with the code, we first import all the necessary libraries and then go on to importing our data set. The data set is iris.csv. So this consists of the data belonging to the iris flower. A few specific details like sepal length, sepal width, petal length and petal width in centimeters have been given. And the associated species have also been mentioned. So here we go through a few insights of our data set. Dot info gives us a, a tally of the total number of columns, count of data in our data set and the data type that each of these columns have. So we can see that our columns like sepal length have 150 non-null values and the data type is float. Describe, data.describe is also used for a similar purpose where we can get some insights into the statistical aspects of our data, like the mean, the standard deviation, the minimum values, the count, etc., of each of these rows. Now we will check whether our data needs cleaning or not. For this, we will plot a heat map to find whether there are any null values. If there are any null values, they will be highlighted in yellow in the heat map. We see here that we do not have any null values. Hence, we can move on with further proceedings. Now, in this step, we will set the index as the ID column. Therefore, our data set now has only five columns. So it is visible from here that based on the data that we provide or for these sepal length, sepal width, petal length, and petal width, our data model, our decision tree model, should be predicting the species that the flower belongs to. Now we will move on to the exploratory data analysis, plotting our data. So here we have first used a pair plot. Pair plots are a very wholesome feature which are provided by the Seaborn and it is a very helpful plot because it plots all the data that is present in the columns. Here we have got a four cross four pair plot which plots all the attributes of our data set, sepal length, sepal width, petal length, and petal width against each of the other four attributes. Hence, looking at the scatter plots that the pair plot has provided, we can see that the red colored cluster, which belongs to Iris setosa, is kind of distinct from the others, which is the blue and the green. The blue here belongs to Iris versicolor and green belongs to Iris virginica. These are the three species that are present in our data set. So looking at our pair plot, we can identify that the that while the versicolor and virginica species are somewhat related or have a relationship between them, the setosa species seems to be quite distinct. Then we also plot a few box plots to find the distribution of our data. Here we have combined a box plot along with the strip plot to see how many outliers are distributed. We can see that for the versicolor and virginica, there are quite a few outliers. Then we will plot a joint plot to see how concentrated our clusters or rather our data points are. So we can see that plotting the sepal length and sepal width 
most of the clusters over here are are concentrated in these regions where the hexagons are darker in color the lighter colors refer to lesser concentration of our data points now we will shuffle our data set because in the beginning we saw that in our data set it was all given in a pattern the species of setosa were first and then after a number of series there were the virginica and then the versicolor hence it is important to shuffle our data set so that there is an even distribution of all the three species while splitting our data set now we will encode the target data here we have used label encoder to encode our species column into appropriate labels so after encoding it is visible here that setosa has been assigned a label 0 versicolor has been given the label 1 and virginica have been given the label 2 we can use this for reference while predictions and now we will convert the label column into an array we will use this for the train test split now we will split our data set for that we will create x and y so x will contain all the four features that is the sepal length sepal width petal length and petal width in the form of arrays the shape of x will be a 150 cross 4 array and y will contain all these labels that we just created after this we will use train test split to split our data into a 70 30 split so 70% will be for the training set and 30% for the test set after this we will build our decision tree model so here we will first import import the decision tree classifier create an instance for that and then we will fit our x train and y train into the decision tree after that we will use dot predict to create the predictions to see our results we will refer to the classification report and the confusion matrix so the classification report here shows us the values of precision recall the f1 score and hence we can here find out that our model collects an accuracy of about 98% now testing our model on a random test case this is a random test case that i have considered these are the four values of the sepal and petal lengths and widths and the result for this data should be the prediction of iris virginica and we saw earlier that iris virginica had been assigned the label 2 so after converting this data into an array we test it into our model and we see that our model does indeed provide the label 2 as an answer which belongs to iris virginica hence our prediction is right lastly we will visualize the decision tree using graphviz so for visualizing the decision tree we will create a features list which contains the names of our attributes that we have used and a target which contains the list of the species that are present and here we can finally see that our decision tree model has created its visualization and it looks somewhat like this lastly i have also tried to visualize the tree using sklearn and the picture is pretty much the same thank you